What's going on, YouTube world? It's that dude named Dave. I'm back. Haven't gone anywhere yet. I'm still in these YouTube streets here. What I need you guys to do here is click like, subscribe, and click on that bell notification below, all right? So let me give you guys a few seconds to do that. There's a few seconds here. Like I said, I don't want to long stroke you here. So what am I here today with? Another Kevin Samuels video here, and we're talking about dating with intentions. So let's get to the video. Is are you dating with strict intention? Absolutely. Yep. Um, this person said off camera, please. You can't come in on the God as Godfather link and ask to be off camera. Um, if you coming in on the as Godfather link, uh, only be, only being on camera. So what I mean by dating with strict intention, because what I think I'm hearing you say is I'm coming out of a relationship dating someone who doesn't want to be married. Right. But, uh, okay. So that, hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yep. Then that's dating with strict intention because you should not go out on date one with somebody who does not want to be married. Got that I right. I agree, and um, that's not what we originally. If you're looking discussed. to be married, it's a year into us dating. Um, at a year. This point, and we've right. talked about it and agreed and everything else, and he's. Okay, I want. I need. I need to ask some questions. Script on you. Sure yeah. You. Don't, you were boyfriend and girlfriend? Yep. Okay. Where'd you meet this person? We met online. On what? On um, Hinge. First off, you don't meet husbands on Hinge. Okay. Off the rip, you never... Hey, I'm old school. What's Hinge, y'all? I'm not out here in these dating streets. Let me know what Hinge is. I can go ahead and pull it up, but why don't y'all tell me, are y'all on there? Let me know what the results are. Hear me talk about you meeting people online on websites. Okay. The first date you, the first conversation you had with this person, was it clear that I'm only on here to date towards marriage? Yes. Really? All right. Okay. How soon between contacting him the first? How soon? How long did it take you guys to take it offline and go into the real world? Um, a week. I a week. Yeah. On the first date, did you reconfirm that I'm only dating to be married? Yeah. We All right. No, no, no. We talked about it. I want to make sure. Yeah. So, how did you get into something? Real fast here, ladies. This is how you weed out the pookies and ray rays when you're being direct. If you are looking for a husband, you're looking to settle down, you want to build a family, you want this nuclear unit. If you come with intentions and you ask these questions that Kevin Sanders is asking right now, you can get rid of the pookies and ray rays, the dusty brothers that we're talking about, the ones you would say, there's no good men out here. You know what though? If you come direct, the pookies gonna be, they're gonna go poof away. Let's get back to the clip. For a year, I don't know. Actually, he actually quotes a lot of your. No, no, no. Uh, I'm asking. No, I'm asking you. Uh huh. How did you get into something for a year? If see, a year you wasted your time, baby what girl. I'm suspecting mm -hmm. is you're not as direct as you think you are. Mm. When you say you're only dating to the intent with the intention of being married, in what time frame? We discussed a time frame because when I chatted, what time frame? We direct question, direct answer. Within two years' time. That's the, first of all. Then you don't listen to me. You got that right. There's no way in hell I would have told you to be dating somebody no two years. In no. the chat room, no. Listen. Okay. In the chat room, what do I off? What do I say? Men who want to marry, marry in what time frame or less? You say at least a year. Absolutely French toast not. What do you say? Six months. It's fast. Fellas, when we want something, we go after it, right? You said like high value men. Absolutely not. That's why I asked in the chat room. Go to the chat room and see what the people who really listen to me say six months that's why you see six months six months six months six months six months 
There is no way you can be dating with intention and being somebody's girlfriend for over a year and they switch up on you. You allowed that to happen because you didn't pay attention. And if you listen to me, that's fine. But you damn sure didn't book a session. You wasted your time. And that's on you. Interesting. And this is a direct point. If you come direct, you're precise. You let the man know what you want. It ain't going to be no one, two years. Like, what are we doing here? No, it's probably happened. You probably had some casual conversations about dating and marriage and what it would look like, but you never put an imprint down. You never stamped what you really felt about that. And then you're having this good fun. You're going on dates, you're kicking it. You know, he laying it down on you. Six months go by, eight months go by. You have this honeymoon euphoria. A year goes by, you're like, okay, what are we? You never really had that conversation. You only talked about the fairy tale when he was in them cheeks. Real talk. Let's get back to the clip. Because a man who's looking to marry ain't going to waste a year. Got that right. Mm -hmm. We ain't got Damn time sure ain't going to waste two years. Right. We'll smash it for two years, but we ain't wifing you for two years. So, ma'am, book a session. Yeah, exactly. Because what you came in and said is that women want to have a relationship, but they're having problems getting on the page. The, and that's not necessarily the case. The problem is women are not picking right and dating with strict intention mm -hmm. you're letting your feelings get involved before you get the business done. i feel he's so good <laughs> my lady friend the, the look i've already go back in the, in the in the chat room the comment section in the chat room you'll see it before i even said it people were saying six months six months six months there were at least 56 months 50 people saying six months because they really listen Right, I've heard the six month thing, but then I, I, what I guess where I get confused is that like what you say, like women leave relationships and things like that, and then the lack of. Uh, okay, ma'am, ma'am. What? You, I say a lot of stuff. Right. I'm talking about marriage and relationships, and what you came in and said is, I want to get married, but women like me who want to do all that are having problems finding me, and no, see, a woman who really wanted to get married wouldn't allow herself to be out here for no two years. Got that right. Have like the women I yourself, talk ladies. about in my group that met their husbands, mm -hmm. they, there's no way in hell they dated them down two years. Because if, if a man wants to take that amount of time, he's just playing the field. Right. Like I said there, we'll go ahead and let it go by for a year or two to smashing the commitment part. We're going to let y'all know right away. If we know that this is wife material, we snatching her off the market and we don't want nobody else to get this here. If we see as a man and we value that woman, we see fit in our lives here. We ain't gonna let this woman who we know that's good, just gonna be out there lollygagging with all the dudes here. No, we taking her off the table. But if you don't come with the intentions and you're, you're fun to hang around with, yeah, it'll be two or three years and you're gonna wonder what's going on here. You didn't lay it down as far as the stamp is going down here, what you want. Let's get back to the clip. Okay. So it's not necessarily the men in this case, man. Okay, to off camera, please. You have to be on camera on Zoom, but you're not going to be on camera in YouTube. So don't, if you're not going to be on camera on Zoom, you can't be on. So do you make room for the fact, ma'am, that Yeah, think about this one, huh, Kev? With, with your picking. Yeah, I, absolutely. I mean. And how soon did you become one-on-one -on -one monogamous with this guy? Um, Within two months, because that's when I was, like, trying to have the conversation about, like. Within two months. Two mm -hmm. months. Interesting. Okay. One week, then so two months monogamous. I talk about rotation dating. Hold on. Before he gets into that, didn't she say that from online to meeting in person was about a week, but it took two months to be monogamous. Make it make sense, ladies. Two months to be, if he wants you, it ain't gonna take no two months if you met that fast after online. Just think about it. Nah, y'all were just having fun. And now you're a year later and where we at? Until you are sure you are dating somebody who wants what you want in the time frame in which you want it and only becoming monogamous with somebody with a definite intended outcome and time frame. Right. 
You couldn't listen. You can't be listening to me that well. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I thought I had that. I guess I. Wouldn't. I see, but see, that's the point. See, there's no. I guess I thought I had. Right. So when I start asking I questions, question. so when I ask the I'm questions, I, so when I ask the questions I ask, your answers start getting waffly. Yes, it mm-hmm. did. And see, that's where you ladies run. It's not the men. It's not you, us. You, you, you took a year of your time dating a man who didn't want to be married, and if you had listened. And really listen, book the session, follow what some things like I said, you wouldn't have wasted your time. You'd have been done with him inside of a month. You wouldn't even allow yourself. Because as soon as he said, I want, I don't want to get married for uh, two years, done. No date two. Two years, shit, holla at you. Oh, well, that's Gotta not go. really how the conversation It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I, I doesn't matter. doesn't matter. His time frame was not, he was not a husband. Right. And I haven't even got to the fact whether or not you're a wife, but women who are wives will not allow themselves to be jerked around for a year either. So that's the other side of it. If you were really a wife, you wouldn't allow yourself to be jerked around, or you wouldn't allow yourself to be doing that because you would know the value of what you lose or what you're wasting. Right. So, um, well, book session. Well, thank you. Uh, well, no, it's not a lot. How old are you? I'm 33. Uh, 33. <laughs> You wasted a year. I don't think you uh, listen. Listen. High risk pregnancy wasted in about a year and a half. Don't think you can waste another one. You better go get a part time job. Like I've said, for women who really see, y'all are willing to go spend money and go into debt and go to college, but you're not willing to spend money to find a husband and somebody to be with for a lifetime. Stop watching mm-hmm. YouTube videos. Get with a coach, consult with somebody who can actually give you some direction. I had, I actually had Good a advice. Who was a woman and I actually had to let her go because she was very, very toxic and actually says a lot of things that you would probably like flip a lid about. Well, they, but, but she but said but that's your problem. Yeah. So that's yeah. your problem that you come to. That's your problem that you say you had. When did you have this coach? I had her um, starting in December. Damn sure. That's listen to what, listen to what she just said. I listened to you, Godfather. Mm-hmm. But yet I wouldn't hire a woman. You got your outcome. You got exactly what make you make it make sense. Man, sign off there. Let's end the video there. Here, woo. Do you guys agree or disagree with what Kevin was saying here about dating with intentions? And this woman here, she wasted an entire year of her life. You got to make it make sense that if you put your cards on the table, you're going to weave out the guys who are not marriage minded, the guys who are not husbands. You would have saw that right away. The fact that you met a guy right away and took two months to be monogamous. And now 10 months later, you're on YouTube asking Kevin, what's the deal here? And so we have so many scenarios like this where then later on down in life, women are saying there's no good men out here. All black men are dogs, but you didn't vet the man properly. This is not victim shaming. Like Kev said, you would have known within a month this guy was not the one and had been out of here. You wouldn't have wasted an additional 11 months here. It's about picking and choosing the right men, putting it out on the table to find out what you want, and then you keep it moving. Now, you may like a guy, he may fit all the physical features, but you know what's going to happen though? He may not want what you want and you keep it moving. But at least the key thing is you didn't waste your time. Because us fellas here, when we know what we want, if we see you after we have the conversations and we're out and we recognize this is the one or we want to see if this is the one, we're going 100 miles in and running there. That is the true fact here. So let me know what you guys think here. Like, comment, subscribe, click on that bell notification below. And shout out to my day ones here and to all the people giving me grief here. I love y'all. It's good. It's good conversation and banter. But until next time, I'm that dude named Dave. Holla y'all YouTube.